Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. We're in a new property today. We're putting in, um, here today, we're putting in HDMI sockets. You, got, you can carry on talking if you want to. We're going to put a HDMI socket. We've got we're gonna put, hang on. We're gonna put a HD, because he was having a projector up here in the center of the room in the lounge. Before, before they move in, we're gonna, we're doing all this and before the carpets go down. So on a projector put up there. So we're taking the HDMI from there down to where Rob is there now. Rob's just extending this box here to a double because they've got datas here. So we're just gonna put the HDMI outlet on there. And then we're gonna do the same again from this, from the center to here because they're not too sure where we're going to put the TV that side or this side so they keep you know, they want it at both sides and then they can just turn the projector around to suit where they want the display the image on that wall or on this wall so up there we're going to have two HDMI ports up there and we've got to get a coax down to there as well um, and how we're going to do that I'm about to go upstairs in a minute Rob so you can count in a second so we're going to try and fish up the wall because it's, it's dabbed with these new builds, hopefully the dab spread quite widely, so it's quite a big uh, big area to fish up, so we'll show you a bit of that later. I'm going to go upstairs, I'll show you what we, what we plan to do up here, but up here, so we've got the window cleaners here, clean the windows before they move in today. So, um, to get the bearings, Right, so if I'm coming up the stairs now here, the kitchen, the wall is, is, is here, oh sorry, that's the kitchen that side, this is a lounge, but the wall is here, in the lounge, that way, so in here, that is the wall, the warm wall, so what we're going to do is, as you can see all the chipboard flooring go that way, so I suspect all the beams go that way and we need to run cables that way so I think our plan is is we'll get the centre of the room and I'll take up this whole section here and then again in this room for the other half of the lounge we'll take up this section here again either this one or this one um, to get our cables from one end of the room to the other so we'll use a circular saw measured to 22 mil so we don't cut for any pipes or anything that's underneath because we don't know what's underneath these so we'll cut these out we'll cut as close as we can to the edge as far as the surface will reach on both sides and then we'll we're most likely going to need to put batten in so some some timber in either side to support the beams um, to support the flooring but we'll look at that when we've got it up, that'll be later on. So we'll show you again that as well. And for the TV aerials, we need to get from the, the lounge, from that one in the lounge, up into the loft. Now, with new builds, they don't put an aerial in the loft, so we've got to fit an aerial for them. There's aerial cables up there ready. So our, our plan is, initially, we're either going to try and fish up the corner of this wall here, because it's a straight run then from down there, Across here and up that wall into the loft. Depending on, I uh, see now this this is going to be a stud, so there might be noggins in there. So I don't think we're going to, be able to go through there. So we're probably going to go because the beams run that away. So we'll probably fish from here all the way down here, all the way down here, and then we can come into this cupboard and up the corner in some trunking into the loft with the coax cable, we've got to run two in, so that's one for the lounge and in the kitchen, which this whole room here is above the kitchen there's a TV going below, about here somewhere we might be about here, so we've got to cut from here so we'll probably do a circular hole here, and then fish straight down so in the loft, we've got to put a socket in the loft put a TV booster and put an aerial up there um, yeah, so they want the TV on that wall, so we've got a TV aerial and a socket. So the socket, we're just going to 
there's a socket on the in the lounge in the corner. So what we're going to do, we'll get above, we we'll get floor up above. So either we can do it from the trap we're going to cut, or we can do a circular hole above that, tie a cable on at the socket in the lounge, pull a fresh new cable up, and then those two cables, and so the existing cable and the new cable, can be fed down this wall here to a socket on the wall. Hopefully. Right, the, uh, yeah, so the site manager is going to bring, uh, can I see if he's got some timber for the floor in? He's going to bring us in some glue as well. So we can, can put the floor back down and, and just put some glue down the sides to prevent the creaking. Look, the chipboard floor is 22 mil, so we need to get the blade, so the point of the blade is at its furthest point on here. Mm. Yeah? And then you need to, yeah, it's about right now. 21 and a half.
We're doing the circular holes, there's going to be quite a few of them. So we've got this, we've got a cutter here, which cuts a hole and then cuts the uh, a groove in the in the floor. Let's put these caps in, which are pretty good. So we're tying these out to see what these are like. I'll give it a solid 2.7. Yeah. 2.7 is just the other side of the wall. So that's starting to mean there. A bit of an update. We've got the yeah. carrots down and then the cat six down to the wall position in the lounge. I'm gonna rob that now from there all the way down there to see if it's a clear run. Might even get the camera on it to have a look. But then at least we got a route from there. There's another beam here, but we can drill. We can knock an hole through there, that one. And that gets into here. And we can knock an hole through this one, that gets into there. And we can knock an hole through this one, and then through this one, and we fish between them, and then we're into the next room then. Which James is doing the, the holes here. So we've got one 400 away, so 400 centres. So that gets us through this beam to here, where I think the centre light is there. Hopefully. Oh, yes. And then we're going 800 there because we're going to skip two beams because we better fish between the two. Hopefully, save all the holes to the other side where we're going to drop the other data down. Yeah, so the bracket. Brackets here. Brackets there, go in there for the projector. We're going to use, cover that hole up by putting a power socket there. We need to make this safe, so we're going to make that safe in the back of the socket outlet so it's accessible from underneath. Then we're going to stick a label on it to say light and circuit. So then anyone taking that off can know there's two circuits there. So that's that. And then what we're going to do, put the data point next to it, I suppose, see how much room we've got. James George's arms over here now, so that gets us from the other side of the lounge to the centre. I think the centre is so in there is where the light is, and then that's the centre, so our bracket's going in there. down there to see how far I go but I'm emitting hitting something so I might have to send the camera down there and the uh, the ferret down there and just have a look to see what it is hitting see if we can get a free space all the way down it's probably hitting an noggin somewhere so we'll see if that looks if we can get over it or under it or what have you or we'll do another disc where that noggin is and drill through it not sure yet looking the cable up then yeah Yeah, I'll put my camera in there. I can see that. Say again. Yeah. I've got the magnet right by the hole. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Well, I've got, I've got it. I've got it. Hang on. Nice.
Hello, James. I can see James is getting the old, uh, he's sat in a nice comfy there. Doing his ends. How do you find those ends, James? Are they right? Yeah, yeah, a lot quicker, a lot easier. Are they better than those other ones we had? Yeah, they don't like bust as you uh, yeah. crimp them on. Nice one. Yeah. You're making sure the, the white of the insert of the yeah, is flush. pushed flush through. Yeah. yeah and the copper good. strand's not touching the centre core. No, yeah. Perfect. Not many to go now. Yeah, how many cables are there? 12. In total, 12 cables? Yeah. So we need to work out which TV sockets that we're going to use. Yeah. So we're going to put. So once we've got power on up here and got the um, the booster on, we'll put one in at a time, mm. can't we? Figure it out. And see which one uh, which one does what room. We've got all these coaxes in now from here over to the shiver hole we made in the um, landed. So then we're going to go up to the loft and we're going to take these guys on a journey. Mm. Like hot. Date. Um, Rob's connecting the HDMI is ready for the projector. You see them, we've got a spur up there. Um, we've got to fill that bit there, that's right on a beam there, so we cut it as tight as we could for the, with the, for the box to try and uh, the old cover pendant it. Was, couldn't yeah, it's where the old pendant was. Yeah, so we managed to get a good fix in on that, and then probably put a piece of timber in to fix that side for the projector. We've got to fill that hole because they dabbed all along the top of the wall so the only way of doing that was to cut the, the channel a channel, little bit at the top so we just got to fill that but we've, we've got the box on now on there so it does that side I can show you this side they didn't have a socket here nor did they have the HDMI or TV outlet so we've done that and it was like it was it's always been here there's no mess it's what we like we're out of the job and now the idea was, was to pull one of these legs up from this socket, put the new leg down, and this was going to feed the socket in the kitchen um, to, you know, keep the sockets on the ring. But, as they do on new builds, they, obviously these cables aren't sheathed and they've just dabbed over them, so you cannot get these cables out. There's no way you can pull these cables out. So we're going to have to do what we hate doing, and that's cutting into the ring and putting junction boxes on the floor. Now this is a brand new house. The last thing we wanted to do was cut cables and put junction boxes on. But unfortunately, we're not making a mess of this wall. We're not gonna get those cables out and get enough on them to extend the ring. It's a shame really, because we always sheave our cables and if they were sheathed, we'd have been able to pull up on them. So it's annoyed us a little bit, but here we have it. Done a lot of, we've got the aerials into the loft now. Upstairs in that yeah. Yeah, so we've got the aerials up, we've used, I'll show you the route we've done. It's been hectic today because with time's ticking on, it's practically home time now. But we've got loads to do because the carpet's going, carpet's going down tomorrow. Um, so on here, uh, we've, we've put the caps in, they're designed to be removable. Uh, we normally screw these back in. But Rob had these on the van and we thought we'd try them out and see what they're like. So we've got those, we've got more, we've got to get more off the van for the other holes. But we've put this glue in the uh, joint what we cut out originally, just to seal all that back up. Um, so once that's dry, we'll scrape that off or put some more in if we need to. This cable was going to go down to that socket I've shown you, but can't do that now, so we're going to have to splice into the socket circuit in here. The cables are just there in there somewhere. So we're gonna have to do that to get another cable from here to the kitchen socket, which is for the socket for the TV on the wall. So the aerial cables, the aerial cable going from the lounge comes from there, and the aerial cable comes from the kitchen in there, which is in this room. Currently there, which is gonna go down into the kitchen for a TV on the wall. They both come down this 
down, down across here to this point here, I'm going to stretch across here, drill the holes through these two beams here, so I'm going to drill through that way, and then I had to put the camera up through the hole because there was some cables on this side of this beam to make sure I didn't drill through them. We put the camera through there and then drilled where we could through that bit, and we drilled through that bit, and then we come up in this trunk in here. I don't know if you can see this. So yeah, so what we've done is we've drilled through there then and we got, we've uh, cut a bit of the skirting out to um, to make it look a bit better. We've then trunked up there to the ceiling and then James has pulled the cables over to the um, TV amplifier which he's now currently just connecting those, putting plugs on and connecting those up and there's the excess. He's obviously going down, that's great. So yeah, so getting there, we have got to put a lot of fitting up in the dining room, so we've got to cut an hole here, because it's quite heavy fitting, so we've got to get centralised and put some support in there to support the light fitting. Um, what else can I show you? This room, I think we're finished in this room now. It's probably a bit tidy enough to do, but that's what they are, little caps on there. Pretty good, doesn't want to put torch on because it's light work. It's the only way of doing it, unless we rip the floor up. So we, we don't want to risk being a new house, breaking them and causing too much damage. Because we're going to end up replacing them. Don't want to do that. So that was by far the easiest. Now if they, they've got no light in the house now, so if they want, they decide they want down lights or, or some fancy light fitting or some LED strip around the edge. They haven't decided yet, but when they do decide to have some sort of lighting in the lounge, we've got access now. Oh. Carpet grippers, the carpet people are coming to lay the grippers in a minute. Oh my god, yeah, okay. Right, so we're, um, yeah, so we could, we got access to run cables in for downloads, which is great if that's what they want in the future. So it won't take half as, half as long as what it took us today to get these cables around because all the route's there now. So I'm going to give Rob the good news, but that's the light fitted there, that's going to go up. Up there, so we've got to support that. This, these pendants aren't centralised, so we just centralise it. But that uh, nice one's done. Yeah, give Rob the good news. Right, Rob, just had a text message. What? Carpet fitters on the way. Why? Right. To lay all the rippers. Glad <laughs> <laughs> eh? Yeah, they're uh, coming to lay the grippers now. Ready for tomorrow. They better bring some torches. So yeah, so we'll get this socket back on now. Can't do anything with that, and we'll, we'll do what we need to do in the floor then. Right, so we've got this fancy light fitting to pull up. They are hard, aren't they? Show you a bit. Well, I've just got it now. Now, uh, see, this is all, um, Literally, these brackets don't come off. So we're going to need the back of these here. Come on, just put it in there as well, that link, the link there. Just hold it to all together. Yeah, two links. And turn that back. Right, so how are we going to do this then? So literally, do you mean to mark them with pencil where they're going? What do you, what do you mean? They mean freely? Yeah, not if you pick it up that that way like that. It's a bit tight though. It needs to be so it's really free. Yeah, yeah. Just need to make sure the train. Yeah, so literally, it's just fast, so it won't be like that. On there, so 80 mil. What are you doing now? Are you marking the, where the screws need to go? Yeah. Oh, we just need to. Well, because when you're pissing about, you don't want to. Yeah, so you need to pull it out. Um, have you left that speaker off for us? Well, yeah, I'm going to do that before we go. Yeah. We'll just leave two cores. I'll leave them in the, in the lounge. Yes, yeah, we'll see them anyway. Oh, so. I'll have to get here. Discs 
Tighten your screwdriver. Alright, hey, see what you're saying. There. You see that? Yeah. And the other one's up here. Hey? Can't you reach it? Well, you fool James to do that. I couldn't. I couldn't. Your gun's too big. <laughs> <laughs> Your gun's are too big. Oh, oh god, full of shit. A girl's arms. Where's your steps? No. Steps near. They just hold it up. Fucking hell, man. You said you got big guns. Yeah, don't break it. It's probably fucking 500 quid. I've got to hold it on here, but it's only glued. Yeah, I'll have that on, you know. Give it a good grip. Get a good grip. Oh, no. Ready, James? See the screw? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to do the next one now, the one closest to you. That's the easy one. Ready? This, this should be running through the centre of both of them. Look, that line, you see that line, though? Where's the line on the other end? Let's see it here. That one's good that way. Yeah, I know. Because it's, it's on the end here. So I'll go to you, Mark. can go to you another. Yeah, probably enough. Right to the end of the bracket. We put the light up. James is going to fill the hole there. So we've just got to connect that and get that on. We put the socket and TV point on there. We've marked the holes for the TV bracket so that can be fitted. But that'll be done another time. Change that socket there to a USB one. Then we've got. I can't see anything there. Hey? What happened? And we've got the TV, we've put in, yeah, we've got the lights in here now. So we remove that, we want the lights going to use lamps in this room. We've put a socket and stuff there. The um, supply is in and it's all up and running for the uh, projector to be hooked, hooked up. And we've got the uh, HDMI points there. And again, you've got all that there. Sort of HDMI there. And James has filled that little bit of this. Right, hi all again, we're just finished. What time is it? Quarter past seven? I think so. Yeah, quarter past seven. Yeah, quarter past up. seven. We've done everything we can. We've got to come back here to put the um, put the aerial up in the loft. Aerial and connect the loft flow. Yeah, that's um, all we've got left to do. If you, like, um, if you like the video, just hit the like button and um, what was it? subscribe. Comment. And comment below if you want to comment. That's, that's it, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.